Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Olivia and today we are picking up where we last left off with Killer Frequency. She wants us to play a commercial, pretty sure, so we better do that before we keep getting yelled at. Now we'll just leave that right there. Today's episode might be a tiny bit shorter because I have a snow cone party to go to and I'm not missing that. So we'll see how far we can get before I have to leave. Oh gosh, Master Robbie! Wasn't that the guy that got, what was his name, Murphy killed? I mean, we kind of got Murphy killed, but Murphy started it. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed Everything of looks the same, nothing's changed. And the wisdom of the I still don't know what this is. It's different! Or is it just turned around? Hold on. Maybe it's just turned around. Uh, I just turned around. I just threw it. I can watch it. Of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. I wonder if that's a real number. Someone can call. Are you happy now? I said everything you ever wanted and more. Never forget the element of surprise. Can I leave? If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. Okay. The yeah. tornado technique okay. and karate love making. Call today. Rikita! Do I still got it? Do I still got it? Do I still got it? After a Jesus. day. Jesus. You know, after what happened yes. with Murphy. Yes, that should have counted, so I do. Yeah, we should take that out of rotation. I agree. Uh, what, if we had played know. that before, we would it's have never fun. heard that. Yeah. Like, that line. Yeah, that karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's oh, just you keep get flirting to the with show. Him. Oh, Apologies, we're on air. folks. We must have left that tape in rotation by accident. I think it's fair to say They're not that's labeled, one so I had no idea. Can skip. But what you can't skip is what our next caller has to say. Caller on line one. I'm gonna turn it up, it's a little low. I hope we can get through at least a couple of people and save a few before I have to go. Stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> we got at least one. Who is Oh it's is that Hello. Virginia Call. sobbing? Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. You got I, him. I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? <laughs> There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I I think he's killed some of them already. Oh, boy. That's him. Oh, wait, what? He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. How can you tell? She sounds the same. Where are you? Can you run? Can you fight back? If she's just a kid, she probably can't fight back. If he's already killed some of her friends, probably can't run. Just where are, where you, are you, first are, of all? Are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god. Sounds the same, sounds like the focus. same woman. Oh, they all sound the same. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? What is it? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie? Uh, Carrie. Good, good. Carrie? Where are you? Listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. <laughs> Stop making right? promises no, that I are. am having a hard time keeping. The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. They never learn. There's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Not to the murder house. I wouldn't have gone to the murder house. So, Cause you're gonna get murdered in the murder house. Go to the bathroom, go to the bedroom, go to the closet. I... I would probably hide in a cabinet under the sink. So I'm trying to, to like... Because wouldn't the, okay. would the closet be oh. in the same room as the bedroom? I don't know. Maybe they're all connected. He's here. He's here. Probably. He's gonna kill me. He probably is. I don't think we can... Shh. Stay. Don't I wouldn't move. run. I would have told you to run before if I wanted you to run. The only reason I'm not worked up about this one is because you're dumb for going to the murder house. That is dumb. It's in the name. Murder house. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. That sounds like a man. 
That sounds like a man. What? Are you... Are you kidding me? That's hey, a little funny. What the hell is going on here? I'm just messing with you. Calm down. <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Okay, maybe it's not it's funny. Joke, maybe they're jerks. Geez. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny! You I don't know who sicko. it is. Did we know it, Jimmy? Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. <laughs> what guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell he are you He loves saying doing? his name. It's prank night, old man. Oh, man. Just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistle. They all sound the same. That's Everyone it. sounds the same. I'm out of here. I would leave too. He's uh you're sick, Jimmy. He's out of there, Jimmy. Go home, Jimmy. I don't know what this one means. He is sick. I would tell him to go home. If they're just kids doing stupid stuff, they need to go Jimmy. Home. Everyone. We already murdered it's one kid really in a cornfield. I think it's cornfield or is it a hedge maze? Go home. It's a maze maze, so hey, it's corn. Night. <laughs> no way. Have you ever seen Children of the that Corn? Little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Uh oh. Is that you, Seth? Idiot. Oh. Seth is right next to you. That's uh. Uh, That's the killer. Wait. Oh no. Who, uh, who I don't feel bad. Oh no, man. <laughs> Run. Go. Go. I would leave. Jimmy's a goner. Everyone, don't get, get inside. inside. I would leave. Run. Oh my gosh, this is a prank. I would Everyone, run. run. I wouldn't stay. I think staying. I think if you stay, you're like a sitting duck. You're, you're done for. As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe. I would have left. You buy time. But not much. <laughs> like, Forrest, we have to. You're done for. You're Heather, just delaying the inevitable. I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is you're right. Gary? My friend. The best you're ever gonna we drove get. Out to the old murder house and. Uh, and oh, why? Of course. The van. I wasn't that dumb. What are they in high school? Like I didn't do that Jimmy. stupid of stuff, did I? <gasps> oh, they don't have keys. I can't leave. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. I'm sorry about Jimmy. Focus. Some of these I don't feel like matter. I think it's okay no matter what you pick, but Jimmy is kind of a jerk, but I am sorry. I do feel bad that he died because no one, I don't want anyone to die, even if they are a jerk, but I, should I make her feel better? With It didn't really work when I tried to make Virginia feel better yesterday, day, whatever day it was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Jimmy. Were you friends? You. This is crazy, Forrest. Yeah. We'll figure something out. A little. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just rush him. Tight, okay. Some of you will die. Heather, shut Some up. of you might we live. That, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Don't we know? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern, Jeannie? Yes. She's no, my best friend. The smartest yet. one out of all of us. She we're in trouble. In Force, oh, maybe we'll we're not. We can come she up listens with. to our and, show. Uh, maybe she's smart. Maybe she, Jeannie will save what? the day. Scott, you're not any good at. And no, no, Chad. Out of all of us, no, Chad. You're not the one to... oh. Everything okay? No. We. Uh, Some of the lines just tickle uh, me. We're figuring out a plan, but everyone's volunteering. Keep me in the loop. I want to be in the loop if I'm gonna have to do. save you. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Oh, gosh. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. I don't want you to call I, me I, back. I, I want you to be responsible for your own lives. Ugh, these damn kids never learn. Nope. Oh. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. I don't want to be told to breathe, though. I think it's sweeter if you check on her. Check on her. Okay? Do you want to date her or not? <sighs> they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. I'm trying to mess All with right. the mouse sensitivity. <clears throat> Folks. There we go. That might We're be gonna better. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> oh, I should probably play a record. 
I, st I forget that is my job. I just don't went on there. No, who cares? Hey, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Good grief. Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked nice. away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right. Great. I'll go see if I can find her desk. No! Hopefully she has uh, something we can use. Mm, I'm so sorry, the key is right the door. Go. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Yes, she did, didn't she? Okay, so if he's at Murder House, I should be fine. This is the stairs. This is this. I should be fine. Um. Yeah. Down this way? Oh. Don't make those kinds of noises. Not a fan. Why does the music rush like that sometimes? Is this unlocked? Oops. So many locked doors, so few keys. There's so much water everywhere. She's a desk downstairs. <laughs> this is it, this is her office. What if that was locked? I would cry. What do you mean? Is this it? Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. I cannot believe that this is her desk. Um, is this it? Is this what you want? Well, this is her desk. Just, yeah. It's kind of, kind of like running. Friendship quiz. How would that? This might work. What would this do? What does this have to do with anything? Why? I hate it when it saves. Is there more mouse traps than there was before? You can just run right into the door. You don't even have to swing it open. That's nice. Oh, I made that noise. I thought that was something else. Hey, I found a piece of paper. Is this what you want? I'm just gonna say shut the door back. Hey. Uh... Okay. You find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, a yeah, piece of paper. I found a Please shut faster. With go, all go these ahead. kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Oh, Whenever shoot. you're ready. Okay. Here we go. It's gonna. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, yeah. I forget. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky collar on this <laughs> unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? We should probably yes. keep this in our hands. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Okay. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I've gone for I'm ready. Genie's little What's the quiz. First step? Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard call. Okay. Crime. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Someone on the roof. So most likely to peak Mount Everest. I feel like... Okay, there's no time. I feel like it should be Heather, because it's gonna be on the roof. So Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. They're starting us off with an easy one. It's the first one. So, Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Nice. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Okay. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Most likely Seth, to end Jennifer up in prison. And Scott all want to do it. Most likely to escape prison is Jennifer, though. Oh. I would say... Just because Seth will end up in prison doesn't mean he can escape. I'm gonna go with Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Okay. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Carrie, I don't really know much about you. I don't I think don't that's know a good Jimmy idea. I as well as you guys, so it'll probably be oh. easier that way. That checks out. That makes sense. That is part four. This plan is long. This plan is ambitious. We need to be nice. We need to not be rude. So I'm gonna say this plan is impressive. This is a very I detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. To yeah, it's have really confidence in themselves. You're doing okay. great. 
What's the next? They part? don't have the confidence part in themselves. Four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David. Hot David. Cynthia and Scott. Cynthia and Scott. Hot David, Cynthia and Scott. It just saved. Oh, she's up there. I'm gonna go with Hot David. Because most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David. Why do you oh. say it like that? <laughs> yeah, you uh you spend a lot of time running shirtless. Boom. You got How did this, I know? Hot David. Sweet! You oh, got this, hot David. Recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Okay. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. Nope. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. Well. So, let's use that against him. Most likely to end up in a car crash, Scott. Mm-mm. Someone can pretend to be injured. Oh, there's Cynthia. I am just blind. Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. It just sucks because most likely to pass their driving test without any errors, Jimmy. He's dead. Oh. Listen. I think because, and only because of this, I'm trying to think things through this time and look at all of the details because we killed two people in a row last time. Because of number 10, most likely to end up in a car crash, Tammy and Cynthia are both on there, but Lisa's not on there. So I really do think that we need to go with Lisa on that one. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Wait. Who's our getaway driver? What was the Should question? I thought the question was oh, the getaway God. driver for the last one. Oh my Dad, gosh. Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. I wasn't Forest, listening. You know what I wasn't paying attention to all the details. Great. I have no idea what I chose Lisa for. Not a single idea. I mean, we're... We're in trouble because of me. I'll take that one. The next one you can take. Who should drive the van? <sighs> Olivia. Um, Scott, Cynthia, or Chad? Uh, ooh, don't accidentally click anything. I'm going to use the same reasoning that I mistakenly used on the last one. And I'm going to pick Chad because he's likely to beat everyone at go-karting. But Scott is most likely to end up in a car crash and so is Cynthia. They're both on the list there. Yes, he is also likely to beat everyone at go-karting, like he won there, but like, we're talking about an actual car. I'm gonna go with Chad. I think I already messed up on the other one, I'm just gonna go with Chad. What are you gonna do? Chad. These kids are oh, dead. Perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds Those, for ourselves. They don't translate. And Those skills don't translate. Sounds good. Talk to you in just a Just like sec. DJ and good luck, Carrie. emergency operator don't translate. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Oh, did it? I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Are we just waiting? Or are we playing music? What do you- do you want me to play the music? Is that what you wanted? I don't know what you wanted. Oh, the kids are back already. Oh, sweet. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Good luck, don't die. All right, hit it. I like the bottom one. All righty then. Hit it. I didn't like that. Got this. I thought he was going to be like, all right, go, hit everyone. it. No. Spotter, to the roof. Go, Heather. I like a little Keep army. Away. <laughs> all right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Bye, hot David. Wait. Lock picker, go. I'll get the keys off. The what are they lock picking? Oh, the gate out. I think of the like the driveway. <gasps> no, don't, don't, no, 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 don't think about it. Oh. Oh, don't even look at it. Is... The keys. Carrie, you need to get the van keys. Focus, girl, His focus. Lying next to him. No. Forest. Oh, that is pretty oh bad. God. How could you not look at oh that? God. 
his face god it's okay honestly just focus <sighs> breathe right just get out of the right. current situation you gotta like compartmentalize get put everything else away focus got him it's uh, jennifer got the gate don't unlocked. scream just don't and hot sick David lips. Should be back any second oh, perfect what was that it's talent? working I can't believe it's actually working. Yeah, I don't You're know what I chose great. Lisa for, so Focus. here we it comes. I think it's next or this. after this next, next one. Step, trap the killer. What did I choose Lisa All for? Right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Okay. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Okay. Is this Lisa? Who is this? Now! Push the bookshelf over! Gosh, Carrie is like the general. Oh my god! He went through the floor! So lucky. Because I am this. Water! You need to climb down now! We gotta go! Jump! Forget climbing! We'll carry your broken legged body to the car! I tried. Huh? What? Uh, it wants to open. I'll hold it. Well, she's gonna sacrifice herself. Bye, Cynthia. Carrie. What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive. You can't just now. drive through the gate. It's unlocked. Just we try to keep the car in pristine condition. I think whoever's parent owns the car will understand. I mean, and if they don't. They can go to a bad old, old person's home when they're old. I don't know. Just go! Just drive! Well... Oh my god. Please, no! Could I have avoided that? He's gonna Carrie? take <sighs> Does he know her? I don't understand. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. That does not make can you any get sense. Safe? <sighs> I can make it home. Is he only Thank after certain people? Me. Does he again? I... Does he know Carrie? It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Oh, sweet Peggy. It was all you. Don't forget, Jeannie. You get home. I feel like someone needs to be the mature adult figure, not be like, let's stand out here longer and let him change his mind and come back and murder us. Go home. You get home now, Carrie. Before it's the 80s. I know you're all listening to the radio. Right. I, I need to get home. I... That's what I just Please, said. Go. Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. You don't have to. to you just, I guess it would be nice to know that you're alive. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our... Thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this. Raise your next kid better when you for make any kids listening in. The next one. Please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song. Lock your kids girl, up. Walking home in the dark. Why did you phrase it like that? Not so stupid teens. Yes, so stupid teens. That was dumb. Hey, we had a call come. Peggy. That was that was abrupt. Time to turn the music off. Oh shoot. Why do I always Nash forget? Here. It's only my second Listeners, day. We've got another caller day. live on 189.16, the stream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Thank Creek you. Tonight. Can we keep it's the cool lines you open. Doing, man. Oh, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you? Are you a murderer? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. 
I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider you a friend, my man. Okay, why? Well, I haven't done anything yet. Thanks, friend. You talk a lot, no self-promotion. He hasn't done anything yet. Uh, Ponty is annoying. The politician is annoying. He hasn't done anything yet. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah. Okay. Back then, things were pretty rough. First of all, mm. I used to roll with a bad crowd. I don't know. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad is stuff. Is it the went killer? Do you know what his name is? For a is? long time, I turned to the bottle. I didn't really I'm talk to find about my it or even know how to talk. Kind of dry, but whatever. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. It's never too late How to skate. How did you turn skate. things around? I joined a support group. slogan. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. This is nice. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. He's too now nice. I down, I this is too down. good of a story. He's <laughs> either his life's gonna be in danger man. soon. It's We're gonna save him soon. To talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. oh a dog. If that dog dies. Aw, oh, hello, Max. Oh. Welcome, Max. He's a good boy. We've got. I'm not even gonna read that one. It doesn't deserve my time or attention. He is a good boy. Well, Max he sounds certainly amazing. sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. No, he's the best dog if Max could dies, ask. I'm quitting. Of course, I'm first dying. Thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. That dog Max can skate. skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. I'm not reading the last one on this one either. You're a great pair. He's a special boy. You're a great pair. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie See, you can have wonderful conversations when you're not a jerk, out, Nash. Man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think That's it's nice. a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Okay. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Something no, I can I mean, groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. That's what Thanks I again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? So I'm gonna bring it down a level. Hey, Maxie! You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Oh gosh. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much. I'll for kill my the killer taste, if something happens to that dog. So it's inspiring to hear somebody come back from the it? brink like tell. that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? I was. Uh, would you look at that? Another caller. I'm on the line. still thinking about a dog on roller skates. I'm gonna look it up and see it? if it's real. I have to see that now before I die, in person. Oh jeez. Yeah, hello. Welcome back to 189.16. Now, how the long screen. until Jimmy's in trouble? This is Forrest Nash. How long do we have to wait? How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh, I made Gary. It Gary! Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for. I like her little arm here. pumps. I think she's so cute. Now, even though if she's bad, if she turns out bad, I'm gonna be heartbroken. I'll never believe in love know. again. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't You're his kid. Why Wait, we don't know how old he is. Why what, Carrie? I mean, why did he spare me? I don't know, Carrie. After what he did. Why let me go? He saw you as a victim. He went to the pranksters. He got bored. I'm going to say he saw you as a victim only because I want to know where Forrest goes with this. Maybe he 
didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. I mean, didn't she get scared? Maybe. I don't know. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- What? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did Maybe so well tonight. Maybe he was a victim of hazing. Stay safe and What rest. if the killer was a victim of Help a hazing? Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, got, Peggy. No, that doesn't make sense. Hey, Forrest? I forgot that this was set in the 50s. Like, where the, kid, the course, killer's from Carrie. the- what song? Away. Any song by Blast Processor. Blast and Processor. Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was nice. You know, what like Carrie it. just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? Can I pick it up? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't even think go in there. reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. Mm, that's not tape. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. I can just go? Nothing bad will happen to me, right? I doubt it. It just doesn't feel like it. Locked to type. Let's see what she says. Okay. Even though you're, you love Forrest, we know you do. I just want to see... Um, I don't know if I'll edit this out, but I know there's a tape in here. Ugh, creepy. Uh, we think we left it over here last time. Someone I know in the real life reminded me I left it over here. And then I might look around to see if there's any other hidden stuff because I don't know if we're gonna get another little intermission-y thing like this. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Hmm? Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Oh my god. I don't want to do another ad. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the team. Awful. Those poor kids. Who's this? Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Yeah. Your name was Dawn, right? My Peggy. Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to Try play my to make sure there's Forrest. nothing we're missing. Long ride home. You know, the one that Peggy I said freaking she knew it was gonna come back up. <sighs> you must love you it. You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Forrest. I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but... No, 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 we we're not arguing. It. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm not going. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? Miles from the station. Have you oh, ever seen a single scream rabbit. movie? Ever. There's always more than one. Um, he's fast. He's Don, super I'm fast. Not sure if you've heard. Like, how does he get everywhere? Because there's more than something one. Something unnatural about this freak. He's fast. Don't he's call fast. him a freak when we're not going outside, probably. Oh, but I think you will. Why? Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know what? something. You're the killer? I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. You would have to be a psychopath uh, to maybe have some information well, folks, and then not share that information. Well, I think things over. Um, like, hold, like, unless you got something out of it. There's something wrong with you. Is she serious, Peggy? That's she's annoying. She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, what I mean, psychopath. is she serious about- I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? You threw if out the window. The do truth. you even have her window in there? You do. Gosh, Peggy. I do care. I do care that people might die. She's not gonna go. All right. All right. I'll She's not gonna it. go. That's not how the game You're works. You're a good man, Forrest. Why did you say it like I'll that? I slide you the key to the fire Why door. Why did you say it like that, Peggy? 
<laughs> wait, wait. If you believe that, why, why do you like, you're a... Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, I never thought about it, but, yeah. That's a workplace hazard. We it, should talk to Reggie about that later. It's the, it's the 80s. Anyway, I don't think I'll I can leave until she's done. While you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. Don't that answer my calls. They're not for you. 189.16. The screen. All right, Peggy, With can me, I go? Peggy. Good. There she goes. Oh, here we go. Off to die. Hope it saves. I think it did. So at least we can start back. Well, I might save it from here, so I don't have to have that whole conversation again. Okay, I'm back, and I've got a giant snow cone in a cup. So if I have red teeth or tongue, no, I don't. Just. I'm not getting in there tonight. Where am I going? Thought we had a key. I guess that's not the alley. Maybe it's the exit door downstairs. It is like a bajillion degrees outside where I live. And it's so hot in this room. So like, I just went ahead, went out, and we got snow cones. Mm -hmm. Listen, this isn't the kind of game where we're gonna die because I can't sprint. It's fine, can you just stay open? Just stay, stay. Hello? Hello? I don't think we're gonna die. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling Don't man. yell! It's like you're t Out you're here? you're taunting him. Open. What are we doing? We're looking for Hello. a record. We've been gone for like an hour. Huh? Any footstep? Shut the heck up, Forrest. Any footstep I hear is gonna just scare the pants off me. What is this? What's that? I want to go back in. Why are there? Where are these things? Everywhere. There's another one. And another one. What are those? Are these traps? Are they... What are we looking for? Again. She threw it out a window? This is a window. Okay. Ooh. He was right there. We're gonna die. Here it is. Shut the up. The murderer home. was right there. When I edit this back, I'm gonna stare at him real good. He's gonna stare at me. Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Mm mm. Of course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Mm. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, elevator, or something. Is this it? What am I doing? What do I do? There's the, the murderer's walking around outside. He somehow got here super quickly because there's more than one. Oh my word, there's another thing right there. What are these things everywhere? What? A thirty, a thirty, a thirty. Has to Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Okay. Is that how I get the door open? Why it just moved. That was real life, Olivia. Calm down. They're not gonna kill us in this game, probably. 70. Does it have to equal 70? So some um, something plus something plus something plus five? I'm so scared. There's gonna be a jump scare though. Is this it? Here's one. I found these all over the place. I was like, what are those? And then a murderer popped up. Why? We're dead. We're dead. We're hunting for fuses in an alley where there's a murderer. Can't you just like call up at that window and be like, hey, if you actually want to date Forrest or something, you're going to have to open the door because he will die otherwise. 
is the killer targeting everybody or just some people? Like, what is happening? There's the one I was talking about. Do you hear that? Do you hear the music? Mm hmm. Gosh, I wish you wouldn't splash like there wasn't a murderer running around. I think this and a 30 and a 15 plus that 5 already in there will work. But the question is, are we going to get back alive? I think this is just here to unnerve me. Are there any other details? Like, hidden like tapes and stuff out here? Shh. Um. Whoop. Does the order matter? I don't think it does. Hello? Bingo! Shut up. Just go. What is that? What is all that? Is that another fence or is that his shadow? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I hate it here. I could probably survive that fall. Then go for it. Go for gold, buddy. Okay, shut that. Please, shut that. Anything? Oh, I have the- I have the tape, right? I have everything I need to succeed? I don't like it. At least we don't have anywhere to hide. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Clyde? Bonnie? Something like that? It's terrible. It's terrible down here. How many closets does he need? Clive's- Clive's the murderer. Just please shut that before Clive comes. Clive has a whole murder psycho cave. With murder dolls and everything. I saw him walking around out there. What is happening? What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Who are these people? What? Is that blood? No, it's not blood dripping. Ooga booga. What is happening? Huh, there's a key. I'll just take that. What is happening? Might be important. There's never anything in any of these drawers. I don't even know what to say. This is weird. This is taking a turn I didn't expect. But this whole game has kind of gone that way. Why do I keep opening things? There's never anything in them. It's gonna be that one time, though. Flu for thought. Local doctor K. Walker recommends all locals get their flu shot, flu shot ASAP. Call for donations to help Chuck Brady, former Gallo High's high, former Gallo High football captain uh, Chuck Bro Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. Gosh, those mannequins are so creepy. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drop tickets in the bucket below. Aunt Williams, Chuck Brody, no, put that back, I can't see. Rebecca Allen, Kim Walker, marriage announcement, we would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker. I can't read from there. Crime syndicate impounded, criminal operation shut down, 24 arrests, inside informant walks free. Police have today finally put an end to the long running car thieving crime syndicate. The arrests were made after a member gave up information on their co-conspirators to investigators. The informant who asked to remain, oh my gosh, anonymous, will hereafter be referred to as R.A. has walked with no, has walked free with no charges. R.A. Game day. Justice for festival victims. To your investigation into the festival accident has concluded investigators blame two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station lead engineer ant williams and junior engineer sean everett were distracted talking about horror movies that sounds like me 
while assembling the big wheel, which led to various construction mistakes. They have been ordered to do cons- community service for a total, it doesn't say. Trailer for sale cheap, sale price 10 k um, contact estate agent Tyler Wallace for more info. I'm tired of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few ca- cars. Who cares? <laughs> buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving ASAP. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. Use your stolen cars. Do you care about health and safety? Good. Then come on down to the yearly convention. Um, beep, beep, look out tragedy. Five dead, 16 injured after brakes fail on bus. Tragedy struck Gallows Creek yesterday afternoon. After a bus failed to stop and crashed into a fuel tanker, whoa, the deceased have been identified as Gallo Creek locals, Mr. D. Rudd, Mr. M. Hughes, Hewton, Mr. Mr. M. Hewton, Mr. P. Stein, Mrs. K. Stein, and Mrs. J. Mildred. The police have asked for privacy for the families of the victims. The incident is not being treated as suspicious. Any of those? Was there an RA? I didn't know. Um, is your car safe? One of these has got to have something to do with what is going on. Is this like a board for which victim to pick out next? Or is this a board trying to figure out what's going on? (sighs) If it was, why is there creepy mannequins everywhere? Like that's a little, that's some villainous stuff. 24 hour gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. Christine's gas and repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. The new owner, the new owner claims it will keep me busy on an evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. Diary of a car thief. Police informant tell all book. Hold on. Wait a minute. Christine's gas repair. So do you think that, so two things here. Do you think that he who is Chuck Brody, do you think that he won the lottery? Because buy the lottery tickets and stuff, you know. So that was 1971, and this is 19... Sorry, hold on. Where where did it go? Where is it? This is 1986. I don't know. Is that what it's trying to get us to believe? But also, that photo looks a lot like her. Rebecca Allen! car club so rebecca allen stole the cars i think he won the lottery local legend takes to manhattan infamous author of a tell-all book diary of a car thief moves out of gallows creek for a new life in the big city she stole our cars and then she stole our time and money okay okay so what about him they are dead Kim Walker and Peter Stein are dead. She's dead. Because K. Stein, Mr. P. Stein and Mrs. K. Stein are dead. Whoa. Okay, so she's dead. She moved away. I don't know where he is now. I don't know if he's dead or what, but I know that he had to do community service and he owns the gas station and is a lottery winner. Whoa. Okay. This room is creepy as all get out, but hey, we learned something. If one of these jumps out at me, it is not that kind of game. It should not do that. What is this for? Why? Put it back. Put it back. I don't care. Yep. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's sh- This one's pointing up. At this? Please don't. Why is it the same photos over and over and over again? I don't know what to think like i obviously like we needed to learn oh please don't i didn't do anything you man i'm new here i obviously we needed to learn something about those characters so it's good that we went in there but like i'm gonna go i think that was just supposed to be a jump scare like to freak me out (laughs) I wonder how the show's going. Probably not super great. Close the door. We we are the life of the party. We are the stars. Uh, which way would it be? Get up. Close those. What is that? I don't know. Whatever. It I'm obviously super wigged, so I'm not making a lot of sense. 
it's a good thing that we went down there. But, like, now more doors are unlocked for the killer to get in and stuff. Because we're not smart enough to lock them back. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. No, please go in. Mm -hmm. Out of the corner of my eye, I'm constantly seeing something or someone, and that's exactly how they want it. They're doing a great job. She probably thought we were dead. She's on air. Whoa, no, I put that there last time. Peggy, you're not gonna believe what we learned. Isn't that such a good song, folks? Not really. And now for I heard it. Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I got I lost. Something had happened. Something did something happen. Did I happen. was scared out of my Clive mind while general. you sat up here and you Might caused this whole mess. Clive, the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked by the Oh, we're telling we're gonna tell the whole story. 240. I only have like 20 minutes. How far can we get in 20 Why minutes? Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because Maybe the basement's 30. creepy as hell, and I don't Thank like you. standing around down there. Fair. Oh, yeah, here we go. Alright, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement. Yeah. Made by our creepy janitor. Yeah, y'all don't bet your people very well. the creepy whistling man. Yep. What part of that did you not understand? Why is this upside down? Get out of here. Chuck Brody, Kim Walker... Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams. Correct. Yep. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? Maybe. That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too. Who did we say it was? The hospital that was the left. Power station. Aunt the Williams gas station, and and the trailer. Park. Brody, Cody. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Thanks. Hit the button if you need any help. Oh, jeez. This is what she meant by why did you lug all of this up here? Okay. Okay, so... These guys are... Which would be Kim Walker. She's dead. He never figured all of it out. He didn't put it all together. We're putting it together now. Um... Because we already did this. This was Rebecca Allen. She's goner. I mean, not dead, but she left. Because she's a car thief. Uh, put this here. Doesn't have to be in order, does it? Gas station winner. This is him. Yes, this goes here. She, Kim Walker, is dead. Healthy and so he... Aunt Williams is down health and safety advertising, but I don't know where he's gonna be. Look, a legend takes to Manhattan. That's Kim. No, that's Rebecca. Kim's dad. Nope. That's good. Is your car safe? That's also her. Yes, and then obviously his thingy here just kind of stays, just hangs out. Cool. So she was the hospital. She's dead now. He is the gas station and he's still alive. Power station is Aunt Williams. And trailer park was Kim, but she's gone. Whoops, sorry. Was Rebecca. Okay, so. So he's going to be at... Quiet Ridge. Quiet Ridge isn't on here that I can see, so I don't even think he's gonna be here. So I think it's Chuck Brody. And I think it's gonna be the gas station. I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot. Yes. I saved. Let's do this. I'm sure. I'm pretty Let's confident. I'm pretty confident. Okay. Name I first. saved in case, but I'm pretty confident. Who do you think the target is? I think it's Chuck Brody. The rest of them makes sense. And where will I find them? Uh, gas station. Power station, trailer park, gas station, hospital. Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. Dial. One moment. Dial, dial, dial your butt off. Here's the tape I got. I risked my life for, by the way. Oh, Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy. But we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming. He's already for you. there. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. Bet he's already there. The whistling man? Who the hell are you? 
Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. You sound Listen, really funny. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it, and... Oh, God. It, it's today. What? The year I finally let myself forget. I... Today, forget what? Run. I think he needs to run. Let's We're just talking, you're gonna run. Let, forget what? Who cares? Was it? I, was this the day I of his think accident? He ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. <laughs> Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now. Is it the day of the accident? I, is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. No. We're getting a call. It's not the day of the accident. Hello? An explosive Chuck? escape. Chuck. That was so Forrest. lucky. The whole goddamn gas station. You're got up. so lucky. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Only ambulance. Yeah. Only dead one ambulance. One fire truck. Three cops. Two dead. One on. I one in Cancun. I can't remember. Forest map. <sighs> How far of a walk is it from him, for him from there to the hospital? Yeah. Oh, it's like super cool. close. He's fine. Wait, I. Damn it, we lost him. What was that about today? I don't think it matters. Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. I thought I had to. Let's blow this up, sure. Here's some music while we regroup here on K Fam. Here you go, Don. Nine point sixteen, the stream. This is a cruddy song that I risked my life for. Is there some sort of hidden, hidden meaning? Is there gonna be any lyrics? Nothing. Is she on the phone, actually? There's gotta be no. more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Okay. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me? Yeah, let's just right? make that clear. Yep, like I said. I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Thanks, I geez. still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Then go check it out. I bet you find all the answers you're looking for. Should she wait, wave at us or like wave us off? Peggy, you're the worst producer ever. You better take him on a date after this. Man, snow cones are so good. If I could justify buying a machine, I would. Easy change is always, always not the best for me. Is it darker in there? Here we go. Back in the area where the alley, the way to the alley is still open. Is it this way? Good grief. I feel like a dummy. I feel dumb. Going back down here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel silly. This is not wise. This is unwise. Can you... Thanks. Okay. It's fine. It just saved. It's fine. Hmm. I would not stick my hand in there for is anything. Is this always here? Were you always pointing like that? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Maybe? That makes sense. I'm not gonna be nervous because why would I be? <gasps> Were you always under the desk like that? Oh my gosh, this game. It's super creepy for a game that doesn't- that shouldn't be this creepy. Please, please, please. To these trash bags bodies. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna kill me, man, please just do it. I wanna go out with dignity. Would this be that door that's- I'm just gonna go. Would this be that door that's straight ahead? This one that we couldn't get in last night? Yep. Yeah, it would be. I would love just closing that back. That would be fantastic for me. Go ahead. Hey, <gasps> Peggy, give me some water. Peggy, we're not dating you now. I know you go. want all of what is whatever force has to offer, which isn't much, but I can't do this. Peggy, please don't ever. What have you found, Forrest? Nothing. I think I need to Please don't working. call me again. Right, I will call you. Buzz the intercom when you find something yeah. and want to discuss it. Mm -hmm. You just want to know what's up. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. Oh, hey, we can play things. What? Looks like it I might don't know. Why don't you come down here and find out? Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Zip your lips. 
It's really Every time I play tape, I just regret it. Every time. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps. What is that? Find the tapes. Follow the maps, find the tapes. Wait. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned that? after a night out drinking. What is, get out of here. What is that? Was it? Please Actually, don't pop out at me. Please don't pop out at me. really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. Okay. I guess that's what this map is about. How is no one just stumbled upon any of this? Down here. Thanks, Peggy. Keep looking. How could I do this without you? Be careful. I don't like that. Just don't... Don't start offering advice if you're not going to come down. You know? That's how I feel about it. can't see anything. I don't think there's anything in there. I just don't want to find a body or anything like that. I mean, I just don't feel like I'm asking for too much. Stop. I feel like a bunch of snakes. Was this what he was looking at? In that... No? Hmm. I feel like Nancy Drew. This is kind of what the Nancy Drew game should be like. This is what I've been waiting for. More trash bags? Yeah, it's just trash bags. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a maze. Well, there's the thing that that thing was pointing out. We can just run straight through the doors. It's fine. No one panic. Uh, is there a bunch of water down here? Because we're going to get electrocuted at some point. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. So it's next to a rug on a little hospital wheelie car thing. has been deceased for five hours. And that there's the notes. No thanks. I'll tell you when you can stop playing. Don't do that. Again. I'm in charge. I'm the boss. Because I'm so brave. What's that? P? Amber? That's, it's junk's everywhere. It's in here. I'm... What? What is the problem? What's with the noises? Delivery notes. Shipping date? It's the 2nd of September 1987. Okay. I'm gonna turn towards the door, actually. Am I turning towards the door? I, I, I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. It's getting dim in here. I'm getting. I feel. Our life is a flash before our eyes. At least mine is. Um, Starling Security. It's a security alarm. Wasn't Roller Ricky Ricky Roller getting a security alarm installed? C. Atkins is a supervisor. Delivery address. The hospital. Christine's gas and repair that just exploded. Roller Ricky's. It was just getting installed when he called. Woodside Apartments. They were unable to install required new parts. The new installation date is later this month. And that... Uh, where we are right now. So, I have a terrible feeling that someone's coming. They're coming for us. They're coming for our butts. And I don't want anyone to take that as a good thing. That's absolutely a bad thing. What? This side up. There's a security system that we never installed. Oh no. System override. This is gonna be important. Do I need to take a picture of this? I might need to take a picture of this. I might take a picture of this. Okay. I don't think Forrest is just gonna remember all of these. I think it's good that we took a picture. Okay. Anything? Nope. Wait a minute. There's a rug, but I don't see a rolling cart, so I think we're good to move on. Well, as good as we can be in the circumstances we are currently in. We are just moving confidently forward, guys. Mm -mm. Stop. There's no need. I've never heard of a need. Like, there, there's not. There's not one. Calm down. Okay. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. 
As though the deceased had been running without stop. This looks useful. Shh, don't talk over the thing. So the victim had been running. Okay, prepared by Sheriff Matthews, who's dead. With Sandra Sharp, telephone call. At 4 a.m., a call was received from a jogger, a Miss Sandra Sharp. Was that who we helped? That was who we helped. What is going on? Reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir, I drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. Good grief. Why is it all scattered everywhere? Why don't you have a nice board set up? Is that real life or the game? Did y'all hear sirens? I heard sirens. Uh-huh. Just gonna keep on moving. Nobody jump out at me. Nothing jump out at me. No creepy mannequins. I will shut this off and we will be done for the day. I'm not kidding. I don't want to miss anything, but like at the same time, I don't want to be down here. I don't see anything. <laughs> Why? What's it's what's that about? There's never ever anything in those things. I don't know why I even bother. How do I get in there? How do I get back there? Oh my word, that's super tight. There's gonna be a jump scare. Is there a way to open this in case someone turns the power out on us? I wish the music would chill just a tiny bit. What is that? Polaroid film? Okay, I can't. Why am I stuck? Oh gosh, I broke the game. Every single game we play, I managed to do that. I'm stuck looking up. No, I'm not. I'm good. We're good. Get that out of here. That broke my game. Note to self, do not look up. Is this the one we're supposed to find? Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Oh, I hate it here. I would quit. Trapped in a car door. Mm-hmm. 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 No, no, stop. There's no need. No need. Like, it's not by far the scariest game we've played. Super, super unsettling, though. Like, I am just unsettled. I don't see anything else. Ooh, I'm gonna try and hurry through this part as quick as I can. This is terrible. Because I, there's gonna be somebody up there, have to go somewhere and do something. What? I'll never say. XOXO, Olivia, please send help. Can you tell me how to not end up like you? Humpty Dumpty. Jesse Cartwright is Don. George Barrow is Henry. Also, Henry Campbell is Anne. Cool. It's good to stay informed. What? Where's the papers? Jeez. Ooh, a new vinyl from my collection. So there's some pages. Probably not. Where are the pages? There's some sort of paper we're supposed to find. Stuck. I didn't kill anyone like you, but that's past mattering. Sure. There's more I could say. Probably say it all. Say, yeah. My employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. Employer. So, the radio station? I'm confused. What I'm the confused. hell? Confused. I'm ready Peggy for it though. I'm ready. This. I'm so ready. 
I'm more ready than you think I am. What the freaking fracking frick frack is going on? Where's the there was some sort of page we were supposed to find. I just I don't think that this is it. The story of love and betrayal. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, I thought it was a book for a second. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I don't think there's I don't think there's anything else in this area. Did we do this one? It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water. How did I miss this? There's been nothing in any of these this whole time. And drowned. Following that, he was moved. I'm trying to know. I'm trying to not read over her is what I was trying to say. Okie dokie. George Barrow. Home address, Carpenter Avenue, Gallows Creek, Iowa. I did not know we were in Iowa. Corn. That makes sense. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Occupation. He was only 18 and they think he was the serial killer? I mean, I guess. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. The deceased is a male Caucasian, age 18. The cause of death is established to be drowning, as shown by the signs of asphyxiation. Why would I want to see it for more details? Um, abrasions were found on the knuckles, most likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known matches with known history of the deceased being aggressive. No other injuries were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there is no evidence of foul play. Additionally, the preliminary toxicology report indicates that the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. It is the coroner's opinion that the deceased went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. Asphyxiation by drowning. Gosh, what a way to go. Virginia Sullivan. Sorry I made you do this, Virginia. What is going on? What is going on? Can I just... Yeah, that there. Then I found that one on my own because I just can't pay attention. Are we crouch still? I'm like trying to. Ugh, we're just short. Okay, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else to find. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here I go again. I already found this. Yeah. Everything is so scary here, and I hate it. You know the serial killer's gonna come up and snatch us eventually. I'm just warning you because I don't want you to be as freaked out as I will be. Gee whiz. Gee whiz, Mr. Wilkers. Close the door. Okay, Peggy, help me please. I'm scared. What have you found, Forrest? So many it's things. It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but... Can I leave? No, I think it must stay. be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's dead. bugging me, Peggy. What a bug what paper and dead bugs everywhere. I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It I'm talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Spreading through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. I'm sure we'll I find out. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Oh, yeah. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? The sheriff? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. I saw this recently. What did I see this the in? The written report I found doesn't Love and death it with all. Elizabeth Olsen. It's like in a car door your blood pressure death. goes down. Unless he got you don't have blood pressure when you're dead, obviously. That's what I mean. And I guess someone else that's how they can like... And that has something dead, to do with like the blood and the way you bleed and stuff like that. And that's how they can tell. Found. It was just a TV show, but... What is going on here? I learned that yesterday. I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up in the right. reservoir. That's what I thought it was. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? Why George can't we go upstairs and talk about this? Foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. 
That's... But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. <laughs> the important thing is that it doesn't make sense. That's fair. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests? Yeah. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something I think something that's slip. why they're going that's after all bad. these people. I think maybe these think. people who are grown well, now maybe sheriff bullied Matthews this person, report, this boy, and maybe it's his parents? Could have asked him. True. His family but going Sandra after everyone? Still alive? Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I Thank did. God, someone's still alive. George was incredible. running from something. How do we find anything maybe out? an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan? Wait, Virginia Sullivan? Yeah. She was her caller from earlier. Well, then our caller was involved in a She's conspiracy so around this boy's death. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she I'm might done. know something about what's I'm going on. I'm done down on. here. I'm going back. Are we done? I found a written autopsy report. Oh, we're just saying everything we found. According to that, it's just like you said at the start. Nancy George drowned drive. after getting drunk. Nancy Drew. Said he liked to fight, too. The drinking and drowning matches with what I heard, but... There's also a note scrawled onto the report. I I'm, see my sorry I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy I'm report, so then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurants, mm -hmm. wasn't her name Virginia? I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in what covering up do? George's to help death. Cover up a death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You do you think the whistling man already got him? Probably. Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone. Gosh, know? this is a busy beaver, which is why I think there's we more than one. I don't know how many there really are. Christ, for oh, I mean, victims. Dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in I other towns, and that down the here I want to go back. All folks who knew about the incident, and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Still creepy uh, though. Why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family. The owner of this radio station. Any. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything for us? Uh, There's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. I didn't find all of them? So. How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, What right? did I miss? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Jeez. I missed something in there. I have to go back. I'll let you know when I find it. Is it over here? Oh, I got this one, didn't I? Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Is there paper over here? Is there paper over here or am I just crazy? Hold on. There's also a tape about Okay, a I guess that was the one I missed. Report. I don't... There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. I thought that thing was what? open. Was like, oh, but everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I don't know what to tell right? you, babe. 
But we already know the official written report was a lie. Mm -hmm. We do. I just... Why would the official report lie about how he died? Because the report lied it. because someone wanted a closed case. Duh. Because they didn't want anyone to look into his death. Do you think you found everything? <sighs> yeah. I think so. Thank God. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death yep. to seem like an accident. Mm -hmm. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back That's upstairs weird. when you're ready. I'm ready. We need to figure out our next step. Um, oh, 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 oh. Am I not going up? Are you taking me up? What's going on? It's three. Thank it God you're up. back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep I a show feel. going with you're all this You're making me run outside and in creepy murder basements? It's our job. This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Okay, <sighs> this is you're weird. Right. No, this so, shouldn't all be part of the job. What's the plan this now? place is a wreck. I think Where's Clive? We should call He's Virginia clean up. back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, that's gonna drive me crazy. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. I didn't mean to shut the music off. We're yet. circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. Are to we? this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. That's very loud. Fremen Plunker here. Who's this? Is it she you? was the one who was freaked out yes. at home. Okay. I was like, who is that? I thought it was the doctor. Okay. Let's finish this little section and then I gotta run. But I have to know what is going on. And I don't want to leave just yet. I just want to finish this section with you guys. I'm gonna say, no, it's Forrest. Plunker. Hey, it's the Because he liked us, so. Forrest Nash. Radio man? Solving mystery Murder. saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 He's stepping right way, way Bunker, too easy into this weird conversation. House? She asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. Okay. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> uh, well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> Can Everyone here is just speak as weird as they could possibly be. Sure thing, Radio Man. <gasps> I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh. Are you a murderer? Forrest. Not the murderer Sorry, tonight, I'm still but a previous murderer. Um. Don't be sorry. I'd be jumpy too if we need to talk. I feel like. I don't know. Don't be sorry is nice. I'd be jumpy too. It's kind of, uh, I don't want to freak her out even more. And then like, we need to talk. I don't know. I'm going to go with, don't be sorry. It's okay. Don't be sorry. You've been through a lot. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. Unless you murdered I a kid. I I thought. Yeah. What's going on? Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling to talk We're about calling what happened many moons ago. You can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Mm-hmm. Me? What would I know? Yeah, what would you know? Clive? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. Didn't you say Clive I, I didn't talk? That was that you or is that someone else? What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called You're us kind of the a first liar. Time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our I'm station. I'm gonna let the whistling man get you next time. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're and doing. I'll let him get you if you don't you help me right now. Me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. I don't know. Why are you so certain? We thought so too. We have evidence. Why do you think so? Why are you so certain? Why do Clive's you think so? Man? Not, not he, why are we? All those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. What? He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. Mm -hmm. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? You go to jail. 
you'll be protected there All behind right. bars. One day, I came into work to find a a boy on my slab. Oh. And as I finished the autopsy, this man Clive, he just burst in. Who is he though? He started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no. But you did it. Well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he, chose he used to both. Stick? Okay. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. I was a janitor. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment. Okay, so he probably quit his I employer and felt said, bad and came to work here. And if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Who cares? I don't know You're why still alive. he had me do You're it, fine. but... You're good at sewing, my stitching. My sister You're... me. You Not have to understand. You're a corner. She needed me. We understand. Speak for yourself, Peggy. I'm gonna go with it's okay. Not because I agree it's okay, but because I don't need, I don't want to ruin this conversation. I'd rather just be like, oh, it's okay. But know in my heart that it's not okay. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. Especially God, to throw on air. I just want this nightmare to end. Maybe now this that she's confessed. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. The murderer will Stay leave safe, her alone? Virginia. Or will it be, because it probably already, he or she probably already knows because it already came to get her. So, is this what you want? Virginia no. is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Sheriff? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. Yeah, let's call Sandra and then. All right, but before take a break. we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah, I guess. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. Just doesn't make hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. Mm-hmm. We'll hopefully find out soon. Hopefully. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. Jazz lady. We don't want her to hang up. Jazz. I'll be careful. Almond mom. All right. Calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Aha. Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And my snow cone's melting, Sandra. Let's make this snappy. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the text attacks message. tonight. Sorry about that. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you ask. What? No. Mm-mm. No. No, thank you. I, for the record, no. Why were you targeted? Be serious. I kind of want to say that. That sounds nice. Make Peggy jealous. Got it. Um, let's ask her. Let's stick to the important stuff. Why were you targeted tonight? Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you. Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. You're lying. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know anything about that. Sure. Sorry. You found the body. Are you keeping secrets? Don't play games. Um... She said be careful how we talk to her, so we have to be careful. Let's not antagonize her. She's just... Sandra. Pointed we straight. We found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. You do know what you mean. It's okay. It's okay, like last time. It's okay. It's okay, Sandra. We, we know. know. You can't really you lie. You know about it? Uh-huh, all about it. Keep talking. Yes, of course. We know everything. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't look river. at my studio. Do you understand? Is that river? No, that's... Sure. Or get on with that. I'm gonna go with sure. Sure. 
I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. Jeez. And everything will be okay. That's your studio right there. Of course, who is he? That's low. I I don't want to ask who is he because we already implied that we know everything. Let's just go with of course. Of course. Let's just like nonsense. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? You're gonna die. Right? Right? There's there's quite I'm a bit sorry. of harm. Quite a bit of harm in that. I can't do this. That's great. I might and have picked the wrong gone. thing. I don't think that could have gone any better. Really? You truly did great, Forrest. Thank you, Vicky. Well, folks, I feel if like anyone I didn't do that out there right. has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please. Ponty's gonna call. call in. That's good timing. Ah. We've got a call waiting just this second. Oh. Uh, okay, so it's. I want to make a basket. Nailed it. All right, everybody. This has been episode two of our playthrough of Killer Frequency. I'm super excited for the next episode to figure out who the killer is and what is going on and how it's all connected because I think we are super close to the end. I think we're maybe like less than an hour out. Call her on line one. Let me know down below. Who do you think the killer is? What do you think's going on? But don't spoil it. I think it's the boy's family. I think that's who it is. And I think there might be more than one killer. As always, I hope that you're having a great day and I hope that you continue to have a great day. Stay tuned because we will come back and finish this. Bye for now. We have a call waiting. Peggy, this is my outro.